Peter, this entry is Fallen Dafa, also known as Fallen Gong, which is a high-level cultivation practice guided by the characteristics of the universe, truthfulness, benevolence, and forbearance. While the exercises have a deep inner meaning, they also help to reduce stress and can bring great improvements in health and fitness. You know, they always seem to have the largest entry in the uh, May Day Parade. Pacomo Youth Services coming down here. Of course, like I mentioned before, it is Youth Week and Pacomo Youth Services, they offer a variety of, of excellent, excellent things that they do in the community. Here's one of the things they're most known for, um, of course, is their outreach um, bus. Now, this is, this is something that they run um, on weekends and uh, basically they go into the community and talk to the youth in the community and give them a ride, give them a place to kind of hang out for a bit, get them off the streets, and uh, they're an awesome organization. I honestly think this bus is one of the creative ideas, most creative ideas I've seen in the tri city I think it's absolutely fantastic. It is, it's the creativity is amazing. Uh, did you know an estimated 75% 70 of youth who are downtown uh, Vancouver are from the uh, suburbs? That's an amazing that's... number. Well, that's why we have organizations like this. Eh? Stage one dance center. They're dancing their way on down. These guys teach dance classes in ballet, tap, jazz, and more from ages three to adult. They also have competitive, uh, competitive classes as well as recreational classes. The Port Coquitlam Figure Skating Club. They've been around since 1971. They have over 109 members and they have 15 skaters joining the May Day Walk here. Now behind them we have the Coquitlam Minor uh, football. Having a great time tossing around the football. Even though it is hockey tonight, we'll, we'll let them. Uh, this is just extremely cute. We have little football players and cheerleaders. Uh, this is a place for anyone at every level, ages 6 to 18. Dogtown! Dogtown, a great store uh, just right here in downtown Port Coquitlam. You can see it behind the truck there. That's actually their storefront. Great little place if you have a dog, obviously, or friends with dogs. Check them out. It's that time again. It's springtime. So what do you do? You play you softball. Play softball. Of course. Exactly. What else do you do? Here we have the Port Coquitlam Minor Softball Association. Uh, now they have um, their group for kids from the age five to adults to age 21. There's quite a range of talent in this group, as you can see. Club Aviva coming down the way here. Uh, they are a group, a gymnastics group. They've been serving the community since 1985 by providing competitive and recreational gymnastics programs, special education programs, camps, birthdays, field trips, and drop-in programs. The Baha'i Faith, is that Lego pieces? Justice, equality, unity. Obviously these are things that the Baha'i Faith um, stands for. And, oh, oh, looky here, we have I don't see a Mustang though, Hitter. Vintage car, oh, we have the Vintage Car Club of Canada now. Um, Mustangs or vintage cars, I confess. Both vintage cars, and you gotta, you don't forget, it is the Golden uh, oh. Ears chapter, of course. Now, uh, these guys are located in Maple Ridge. They have about 85 active members. Oh, Hater. Well, looky here, I told you they weren't done. We have another Mustang coming down in the parade. How many is this A fan now? favorite, eh? A fan, no, uh, yeah, a, a Hater favorite, I would say. Now, uh, this uh, presentation here, part of the Port Coquitlam Car Show. Look at this. Riverside Optometry. Hence the large glasses on the front. Someone put a lot of time into those glasses. They're huge. <laughs> They're located in Prairie Mall, if you're in need of some glasses, obviously not that big, but I'm sure they have a wide selection. JRFM 93.7. Uh, now, uh, here you can listen to the station to find out about all the great community events, concerts and fun family adventures going on in the community. They are, they're, that's yeah. the fun finder. They're in the community, they're out uh, making sure their presence is known and, and, and you know, doing a great job, so good for you. <laughs> Listen, uh, weekday mornings from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. 
for some, uh, you know, great morning entertainment wakes you up when you're lethargic and tired, getting to school like myself. Do you have a tree in your yard that's just a little out of control, Hater? Posley Skate Tree Services, 604-723-5296. Give them a call if uh, you need any help with your trees. Now it looks like to round off the parade, we have Kukukum Toei. Now I promise I'll never have to use this service when I finally do get my Mustang. I'll treat it like a baby. You know, Hater, I kind of hope you do get a Mustang now. I kind of feel bad for beating you up this whole time. <laughs> you know, maybe it'll come around for you. Oh, it will. I promise. Yeah, you you've got, yeah. Okay. Hey, you got a goal, you got a goal, you got a dream, a Mustang dream. Uh-oh, someone didn't take care of this one. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. That's it for this year's parade. Thanks for watching. The Port Coquitlam Rotary May Day Parade was made possible by the City of Port Coquitlam and the Port Coquitlam Rotary Club.